Welcome back to Human Design. I'm Melina McDonald. <gasps> Welcome to the sacral. <laughs> I love this. I'm a generator, so um, my sacral is defined, and I love it because I know that this is where one of the main is the main motor that is within the human design chart and this is where i get my energy from this is where the life force and vitality comes from this is where you respond this is my sexuality and fertility all comes from the sacral and 30 percent of people actually have this area open so what happens well if you have it open, you don't naturally have this motor in you. So you tend to work till you get exhausted and ill. Because you, you can't pull away from the juiciness of life and the life force energy. And you actually believe that when you do get sick, that you just, it's just, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I just don't have enough energy right now. But what happens is you burn your ass out. You burn out, let me tell you. Because you don't naturally have that motor within you to create that natural energy. Uh, in fact, I would say a big percentage of you that have this open are going to be more than likely projectors, reflectors and manifestors. Okay, um, whereas your manifesting generators and your generators are always going to have this activated, which is why we're classified as the workers, the organizers and the builders. Okay, because we have got this natural energy inside of us. So when you have that open, you can't, cre you're going to feel more tired than, you know, normal people because you've got to remember 70% of us are in that we've got a defined sacral and 30% aren't. So you know, what's happening is, you know, you're going to need to rest more than I would. You can't just keep going, even though life is juicy and it is, you know, we do tap into that, you know, life force energy. If it's open, you're going to find that, you know, this is not sustainable for you. Okay, so do not run yourself into burnout and getting sick and ill because you need to make sure that you have a little bit more rest. This area is um, run by the ovaries and the testes, obviously, depending on whether you're a male or woman. And this is where your sexuality and fertility comes into play with the sacral area. Um, so physically, if you are not using, or if you're using this energy incorrectly, what happens is, is you're gonna actually come up physically with things like sexual diseases that's part of it okay you're going to feel exhaustion and your throat and your ears will tend to get quite affected and you're going to have chronic neck and shoulder issues okay because you're going to be holding everything up here you need aluminum enough is enough that simple okay you, you feel sensitivity towards people and places, you know, and having the right people around you, again, is gonna be very important when this is open. Because if you've got the wrong people around you, you're gonna feel your energy depleted a lot quicker. As I said, you know, most of you are gonna be projectors and um, definitely reflectors. They're gonna have that open. So you are going to feel you know, um, if if someone's just all toxic, you, you're going to feel that, okay? And it's going to zap you of your energy. So what's the trick here with the sacral? You need, one, to learn when enough is enough and find the balance between work, rest, and play. This is the vital key to the sacral specifically the open sacral okay if you need to rest rest don't care about what anyone else says it doesn't matter all right that is my tips for the day uh, i will see you on the next video bye from me